One of the telltale signs of hysteria, when behavior typically deemed mentally unstable becomes entirely acceptable. If you ever wonder how people ended up drowning witches or killing neighbors in civil wars or following Chrissy Teigen on Instagram, you could bet hysteria was the driving force. We've seen idiots on TV defending riots and looting while laughing off rising murder rates. And they aren't just rising, they're exploding. Currently in NYC, the rate of shootings is expanding faster than Brian Stelter's sweatpants. Pretty sure I used that line before, but it never gets old. But such behavior is a moral blindness, an acceptance of evil that's infected the media, politicians, Alyssa Milano, and all those nutbags cosplaying on the street. People call them protesters out of fear, but they aren't. They're the white middle-class riot kids caught in a spell of fashionable madness. It's awful, until it's so awful, it's hilarious. Normally, I'd never think of that movie, ever, except it's been pulled from an Oregon film festival after some unloved protesters claimed it glorifies police. Now, adults would ignore such complaints, assuming they're from shut-ins, whose only film they're familiar with is whatever forms around their toilet bowl. But organizers of the NW Center aren't adults, they're cowards. They heard the hysterical call to arms that police are bad and folded like a Portland mayor before a non-cisgendered alpaca who self-identifies as a ferret. Other films slated to run at the festival include Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Creature from the Black Lagoons. Disgusting. Typical patriarchal oppression in the form of cisnormative gender prisons. Plus, Sean Penn played a surfer, a crime of cultural appropriation given that surfing was predominantly Polynesian. We need to ban this. Creature from the Black Lagoon? Well, how racist is that? Black Lagoon, really? What's it look like to you? Clearly, it's tapping into a white privilege fear. A dark complexion creature kidnaps a Caucasian female and brings her to his lair. This could have been written by Trump's campaign staff. We need to burn all the remaining reels, please. It's hysteria. It's what our country's callow leaders are having for dinner with their burned hair. Remember the Boston Marathon bomber? He was supposed to die, but he got a reprieve last week. Right, he won an appeal on his death sentence. He appealed for less death and won. You know who didn't get a reprieve? The SWAT team who caught the frickin' bomber. Yeah, they were disbanded. Apparently, the city suddenly and coincidentally had limited resources, so they cut the specialized, highly trained outfit. Meanwhile, Seattle's expected to slash their police force in half and get rid of their SWAT team and horse-mounted unit. With the money they're saving, maybe they're going to build a downtown hysteria zone. No cops and no sense, but a ball pit for Antifa. Doesn't it make you remember when all the good libs told us that when leftists said defund the police, they didn't really mean it? Lies. And they're doing all this as homicide rates spike in large Democrat-controlled cities and as the FBI has to open 300 domestic terror investigations since the riots began. And now, after 70 days of rioting, the Portland mayor is upset. But not because of the suffering it brought to his citizens, but that it might help Trump. Don't think for a moment that you are, if you are participating in this activity, that you are not being a prop for the reelection campaign of Donald Trump, because you absolutely are. You are creating the B-roll film that will be used in ads nationally to help Donald Trump during his campaign. You don't want to be part of that, then don't show up. See, that's why the chaos and violence is evil, because it provides great B-roll for Trump, not that it hurts people. What an immoral pile of crap this mayor is. He's why this country could be screwed. Yeah, hysteria makes you do weird things, like in a time of ramped up violence, eliminating cops and SWAT. Do you think this is an intelligent response or a panicked one born from cowardice? Well, it's cowardice, but it's also mental illness, driven by a media that makes money not off content, but discontent. But there may be signs the hysteria is running out of victims. We're watching Ellen get figuratively and possibly literally canceled. Yeah, the most off-limits celeb you can imagine, a famous, lovable, liberal lesbian, is getting devoured by the woke dial for being a jerk. That means the wokists are running out of fresh meat when they feast on their own. Bill Maher, lock your door, Oprah's coming. So will this insanity run out of steam? Or are these nuts just like Doritos, that no matter how many bags you go through, they keep making more? And as long as colleges keep churning out these rage worms, they'll keep clogging our highways and abusing decent citizens. Unless the adults wake up and take the reins back from these twerps. It better happen soon. The thing about hysteria, the more it spreads, the longer it lasts. 
Suddenly you wake up thinking you're in Portland when it's now America. Period. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He's a rabble rouser in very strange trousers. Retired Green Beret, Master Sergeant, host of Hollywood Weapons on the Outdoor Channel, Terry Shepard. If jokes were seeds, I'd bury him in my backyard. Writer and comedian Joe DeVito. You know what has a nice ring to it? Her left hand. Hostess and Silly Cat on Fox Nation, Cat Tim. Yeah. Niagara Falls is his jacuzzi. I think I used that one. My massive sidekick and host of Nuff Said on Fox Nation, Tyrus. <coughs> All right, uh, Terry, yes, where sir. are we headed? What can we do? You can answer those questions in order. Okay, well, first of all, Creature from the Black Lagoon is one of my favorite movies of all time. Steven Spielberg stole that from Jack Arnold. I have a life-size bust of the Creature from the Black Lagoon in my house. Okay, I've done that. Uh, well, here's the funny thing. At, at that film festival, uh, if something bad goes, if something happens, there's some people are committing crimes, they're going to call the police to help them. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think it's interesting that, that, that the police are the bad guys. What, th listen, man, we, we talk about this. I feel like we talk about this every day, every week, all the time. We're seeing the results of decades of people, these people being told that the country sucks, everybody's bad, and you need to overthrow it. And uh, I, I, a lot of lessons here. The government is not your friend. You listen to Wheeler. He's just... He's actually saying, uh, I know I destroyed the city, but don't talk about it and show it because people are going to vote for yeah. Trump. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's actually yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, Joe, I'm a little bit confused because I don't even think Kindergarten Cop is Arnold's worst movie. I was going to put twins ahead of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she's talking about Kindergarten Cop like it's the bad lieutenant. It's not the edgiest <laughs> fair that he's done. Um, what? What a perfect 2020 movie to take on. Yeah. Because we've got no cops and no kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> I think this woman hasn't even seen... Wait, has she seen his other... His movies from the other... other uh, that, that time period. You've got mm. Predator, right. where he takes on uh, an undocumented immigrant. Right, yep. <laughs> and you've got Commando, yeah. where he kills like 100 people to save Alyssa Milano, right. which in retrospect... <laughs> yes. But it, it shows you, I don't think she watched this movie, this woman who complained, yeah. because the most problematic scene in this movie is the one where the little boy stands up and says, boys have a penis and girls have a vagina. Right. That's why this movie should be in trouble. And guess what, child actor from 30 years ago? You're canceled. Yeah, that's true. In fact, that I was surprised that that got under the radar, because that, to me, is more offensive to the modern progressive than anything. All right, you know, Tyrus, you may be the <laughs> only person that loves movies uh, uh, weird movies more than me. Why hasn't Hollywood actually stood up against this stuff? Because everybody there is going to be canceled unless they actually build a wall against this. Okay, first of all, I'm really trying not to reach through this camera and pull Joe through the screen. Arnold Schwarzenegger has never had a bad movie. <laughs> Kindergarten Cop was phenomenal. How dare you? I even watched Hercules in New York. Phenomenal. <laughs> Now, I'm going to stop for a second. I'm just yes. going to calm down. I'm not going to go there. The, yes. the book burning is now our arts and our culture. Mm -hmm. Greg, I challenge you. I know you're a writer. You love movies as much as I do. Mm -hmm. Kindergarten cop sequel, Kindergarten Cops. We put all the little babies in little police uniforms. <laughs> our entire message is we're going to not defund the police. We're going to refund them. We're nice. going to start putting more money in them, and we're going to start bringing them in as babies. Yes. They're going to grow up to be cops. Uh, yes. This is... The sadness of this, the ridiculous of the time we're living in, like, I never thought I would be the adult in the room. <laughs> and if you told me, Tyrus, you're rioting, burning buildings, assaulting people, and if you keep doing it, someone's going to make a video about you doing it, and it's going to hurt us, opposed to you need to be arrested. Hmm, if he only had more boots on the ground, like, federal agents or someone to help out and arrest these rioters who are destroying his town. I wonder where he'd be at now. Oh, you don't want that because yeah. you don't want consequences. Like it's, I'm an adult in the room. I'm still dressing the same as I was when I was 10. <laughs> Me and too. I'm the adult in the room. This is scary. Yeah. I can Arnold still Forrest fit into my same. clothes when I was 10. I even tried. I believe that. Yes. That's uh, true. Cat, uh, I uh, compare them to Doritos, these people, because like they just continually get churned out. Do you see an end to this? I'm very pessimistic. 
No, I'm in incredibly pessimistic because there is this narrative that has been very well established in the media that if you want police on the streets, then you're a racist. And that's mm -hmm. the narrative. But if you look at statistics, Gallup just released a poll. 81% of black Americans want either the same amount or even more of a police presence in their neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. So the people who are espousing this narrative, it's one of two things. Either they, right, either they know that and yeah. they don't care and they're using black Americans as props, or they don't know that because they're not going to bother to Google something before using it to, to sow massive division in the country. Mm -hmm. Both of those things are very bad. Um, this is different, of course, than reform. 94% of Americans want either major or, or minor reforms in how the police operate, which is, of course, very different. So we all agree on a lot of these things. I guess that doesn't rate because mm -hmm. we all have so much agreement. You talk to people, you realize this, but these loud voices that are full of crap get all the attention. And mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it's too serious of an issue. Was that directed at me? Hmm? Was that directed at me? Uh, no. Uh, oh. No, it was <laughs> directed at Terry. The one-armed <laughs> man did it. The one-armed man did it. Speaking of, uh, uh, Kat, are you still engaged? I haven't messed it up yet. Oh, excellent. Damn. excellent. <laughs> Just checking. It's now been seven days. That's a new record for you, Kat. It really is. It's a new record. Congratulations. It's so, it's so against her brand. I mean, I'm it's happy for her, but it is so against her brand. <laughs> it's destroyed my brand. Anybody who says it's against their brand deserves not to have a brand, and they'd be thrown off a cliff. And their arm put in a sling. <laughs> yes. All right. You guys can't touch me. Yes. Who wants you, Terry? You're disgusting.